already knew that Porter was going to be open. As soon as he caught it, without hesitation, dropped the dive cleanly inside. Why well, I go back to thinking he's got to be the easiest superstar to play with. Oh, coffee position to get that screen and roll because Reggie went a little quicker. The Clippers were just terrible at protecting the ball today. They would have a 10 point lead. Curry down the lane. Are you serious? The 25 or more turnovers. Only one team has won in that scenario. Quarter for three. Clippers in trouble. 82 70. 825 to play in the fourth quarter. But the Warriors there. Warriors by a dozen. Curry. Toscano Anderson spins his way down the lane, a bit out of control, makes up for it up at the peak of the map. Golden State, largest lead of the game so far, 84 to 70. George drives on Wiggins, steps away from the basket. Oh, flings in a tough shot from 20. Paul George now. Curry runs laterally across the floor, then works it back over to Porter. Down the lane, wild shot is short, gets his own rebound and puts it back in. Rebound by Lenzo. Aggressively gets downhill. Now you swing it back outside to George. The Clippers cash cow. Ball movement here. Bledso. Baseline drive. Goes reverse. And lane. There's led early by seven. Turnovers caught up to them. Curry. Deep three. Five threes for Steph Curry. He has 25. George, no. Bledsoe comes out of nowhere. The smallest player on the floor for the rebound. George relocates in the corner for three. I believe he's made his last three from that corner, dating back in 977. George with 27. Curry, great look at a three. Picking up two quick fouls in the first quarter. Picked up his third early in the second. Curry does it again. 95-77, I said it in the water. Like step four. Right, when you're hot, you're hot. There's nothing that anybody can do about it. And unfortunately, we've seen this story happen with step in the past. Wiggins will launch. This is crazy. I mean, you're watching. They all got his back. Beautiful to see. Really think about Jordan Poole's 15 in the third as Paul George has said it. They've kind of been on a slump there. Got to break out of that. This team defensively is a revelation. The turn and spin, Winslow unable to, right? I mean, they're number one at a level that it is just remarkable. A lot of different categories. Uh, Steph Curry with a floater. He's just playing them. Leap. Just springs into action, no problem. Pass in to Hardenstein. That's a nice pass to Winslow. They need to. Everybody's privy to the defensive game plan, and they execute it perfectly. They play with so much energy, and that's where it starts. The quarter, it was there for the taking. The waters had never been muddier in a game this season than they were from about the eight to four minute mark. And in the third quarter, Hartenstein flushes it in for the right. Ultimately made the Lakers pay. Jonathan Kaminga throws down the three, 105 to 90. And the Clippers will walk this one out. And again, they'll sharpen their focus for the Pelicans tomorrow night here in downtown Los Angeles. A flurry to close the third creates the separation. And, oh, yeah, that guy 